Okay, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be renewing my graphics card here. I've got a RX 5700. It's running a little bit hot, uh, 104 degrees Celsius on the memory temps. So it's uh, been a while since I've cleaned it. It's time to clean it again. So let's get into it. So today I'll be using a anti-static vacuum. This one is from Atrix. Uh, it's called the Express Vac. I picked it up on Amazon and I'll put a link to the description below. It's important to use an anti-static vacuum because using a regular vacuum, you can create static electricity that will cause damage to the very sensitive electronic components on the video card. All right, I'm also using the anti-static mat, and uh, this is very useful, again, for reducing the possibility of static, electro, uh, static electric ruining any of the components here. So the next thing I'll be doing is taking the cooler off and inspecting the thermal pads on the memory modules. Okay, now as you can see, they've got this uh, quality control sticker here. I've never had this one apart yet, but we're going to do that today. And some say that it will void the warranty, and it may with some manufacturers, but you also have a right to repair and maintain. Not so much repair, but you have a right to maintain your equipment. All right, and on this one, it just seems to be those four bolts or screws. All right, I'm just going to point this out that you can see where the actual thermal compounds hit on the memory module. I mean, this one here has just a little teeny tiny square right there. That doesn't even cover the whole memory module. And these ones on the side are, are pretty much the same. Again, that doesn't cover the memory module. So. On this card, it was running hot to begin with, uh, anywhere between uh, 100 and 102 degrees Celsius, and this is the reason why. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take new thermal co compound and cut new pads that will cover the entire size of the memory module. I have several other of these cards that are running very hot as well that I'll be needing to do the same thing to. Okay, before I place these thermal compounds, I will uh, just give it a quick once over with the vacuum. This card wasn't really dirty, but still. I'm really surprised to see these little teeny tiny things on those memory modules. When you're putting the thermal pads on, be sure you get both pieces of protective film off both sides of the pad. As far as difference in color here, these are just two different thicknesses. Because the module, uh, the pads that were on this mo module were thinner. Okay, now these are MOSFETs over here that have some uh, thermal compound uh, 
pad on it. It looks like it, they're pretty well covered, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Sometimes you'll just get a little strip where they won't completely be covered, and you'll, you'll have to replace that strip too. Okay, now we'll put the cooler back on. All right, now we'll just put the screws back in and this is done. I'll go put it in the machine and ramp it up and see where we're at as far as temperatures go, see if this did anything or not. All right, I've got the card installed. I've got it back running and hashing again. I'm about 15 minutes into this session and my temperatures have stayed and settled in at about 88 degrees Celsius. So I'm really happy with that change. It was 104, so that's 16 degrees Celsius better. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.